Today we're installing HIDs on a 2009 Mitsubishi Lancer with the stock uh, headlights. Uh, videos maybe you may see they say take off the the bumper, blah 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 blah. You gotta unscrew this, unscrew that, and all that. I'm showing you you don't need to do so. I just made an attempt to do it myself without doing the bump, bump taking off the bumper, and I was successful. So basically. I have not turned on my HIDs yet, but this side I've plugged, I've already connected, so this side, on the driver's side, I'm going to do a video while watching this. So basically, all you want to do is, this is the bulbs that's on their 2009 um, Mitsubishi Lancers. If you guys want to know, it's a 9006 bulbs which I think they're like H11s I could be wrong with HIDs but we're going to double check that because this is the HID right here for the driver's side so let's see if anything is labeled nope it just says 9006 I can see it inside there down there so 9006 HIDs and then you can choose your color so let's get on with this. All you want to do on the driver's side, you want to take off the um, do at your own discretion. Some people would advise um, plugging the the battery, which you know common sense. It's is safety, but I'm not doing that. Um, you need to take this off. You know, unplug the bulb from it from the harness so in order to do so what I used was my key but you can use a plier I mean a flathead or so if you can see let me see if I can turn on my flashlight if you can see that's the let me see if you guys can see this or not anyway it's down there I don't think you guys can see, but on anyway, it's easier for you guys get the the light off. That's it. You now you get your key. That's it right here. Get your key or plier just in here, in there, and just push down, and then push down. The thing just slides right off. You don't have to kill yourself struggling with this clip that you know locks on to it anyway I used my key but I would advise using a flathead it's easier to do so next thing you want to do you want to get the bulb off which is a little tight it's a little tight so This side is tighter than the other side was. Oh man. Okay, so I'm gonna have to try and get something that I can use to apply pressure to get it out. So let's see. Try and use that, use the head because my finger is not having, I'm not able to use it to get pro. So let's do this, put it on the push down, sideway anyway. Let's see, hopefully that works. It doesn't work either. Pause this for a second. Okay, I'm back. Reason why it was so tight was because I was pushing it the wrong way. 
so make sure you know which way you're pushing it. You gotta push it up like that clockwise is to lock, anti-clockwise is to unlock it. So all you wanna do is get that out. So basically if your bulb is sitting like this or sitting like that, this is the lock, that's the unlock, okay? Push down to lock, push like up to unlock. So and then you get it out, okay? So yeah, that's it for the um, driver side. You get your HID. Cut this down for a second. So that I can just, you know. Oh, watch. Be very careful on the hitting the HID. Don't want to damage it. To get this off, don't try and like push it up. Don't try and push it up. Put it back down. Go low the other way. Go down. And just slide this through, and everything comes right off. And there you go. Now you got to do is install your HID. Careful again. Try a level best not to hit anything. And all you're just gonna do is just take, put it in where the light goes. Again, be very careful. And it's in there. And just secure it by locking it, getting it to lock. So sometimes you might need to turn a little bit, left or right. So you can find that lock position. Again, oh, there you go. Well, one side, no, nope, that's not it. So you come back out. Turn again. Find that locking station. There you go, got it. And now it's locked. Next thing. You want to get your baluster. Okay, so with the balusters, I bought two. One is the 55 wax, which two of them, I bought two and two. 55 and the 35. So in my case, I'm going to install one side 55, the other side 35, only because I want to see the brightness difference and see what I really want to go with instead. So in order to know what is your baluster power, you got the 55 stated right here on this one does not say oh it's right there I'm sorry 12 volt 35 some people say this is the cheap brand but if it works it works right how much some of you may be considering asking how much do they go for um, these with the HIDs it's together well like 35 35 bucks and those were 55 55 dollars for the 55 wax and then they had some others 65 wax and whatnot but I just went with this for now so secondly installing your balusters put these aside installing your balusters that's your your light so this, this one, sorry, plugs in to the baluster, which is red. 
this black plugs into that. So let's see if I can do this. You take those. Sorry. Match it and plug. Hear a clicking noise, it's in there. Okay. Secondly, these two don't plug to each other. They plug to the HID, okay? Which has its own matching ports. It says right there. So you gotta match it. This one, those two, and then the other two. So basically, um, this video is gonna suck because I'm doing this by myself. But let us see. Like I said, you take this one and that one, plug in together. And so from the baluster as well, the one for the baluster and the one for the HID itself, you plug it together. And basically you install, oh sorry, one more step. Next thing you want to do is this one. The one that's from the HID plugs into your car harness. Stupid mosquito, get out of here. Trying to plugs into your car uh, harness, okay? Again, I do apologize, I am using my phone to record this by myself, so it's not really that great. But all you do is turn. I don't think it matters its side, but plug it in. And basically your HIDs are installed. So now moment of truth. We're going to get those lights on. Okay. So, parking. And my lights are on. So my HIDs are not on. So something is wrong. Okay, next step, we are going to unplug it, turn it around instead, and plug it in C. Okay. Okay, it came on. That side came on. So the plug, the harness, you gotta flip it over and try that way. So I'm gonna turn this, turn the lights off again. Go to this side. Find the harness, the car harness, and plug it. Sorry, guys. Kind of stuck again, so I need something to pry it off. So let's go ahead and get 
Man, I don't know who was using that to burn something up with my car, but... All you want to do is get it in there. Be careful not to shock yourself, so... So it took forever. So this is the way I have it. I had it, so I'm going to flip it this way. And voila. Okay, so flipped it over. Sorry about that, I had to pause the video for a second. Don't want it to be too long, that's why, so you can post on eBay. I mean, YouTube. Okay, so now turn on the lights. And both sides are on. So it looks like. To how I see it right now, it looks like the 55 is brighter than the 35. To that's how I see it. The 55 seems like it's brighter than the 35. So, what do we do next? Next, uh, these are blues, so I know it's illegal. It just was a test model basically they're going to be my fog lights instead of my um, headlights but that's a different project and a different time so it works nice but 55 is brighter stands out more so I would say and that's the one on the left than on the right so if you're trying to get something a little brighter, I would say go for 55 or higher. Did I need a harness? Uh, for the 2009, seems like you don't need a harness. Apparently, I could be wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and start the car. Because I remember with my Audi I had, it was fine when the car was off, but when you put on the car, the lights that flickering. This is a stick, so. Oh yeah, it's a stick, so. You can't just turn it on. I don't know what that was, but that was not good. Oh. It's the cover to the light to drop down there. Gotta get it out. So as you can see, the side folder, the driver's side has gone off. I mean the passenger side has gone off. And which was the 55 wax. I turn off the light and turn it back on to see. The lights are off. Okay. So now they're on. 
it's on. What color you choose is up to you. They're all illegal, honestly, but the whites are more um, acceptable. These are deep blue. They're called deep blue, which is um, then. Let me see. Ten thousand K, I believe. Oh, no, that's the whites. The, they didn't label this right, but it's the deep blue. I think it's 10,000 K, uh, but I could be wrong. I believe so. It's the 10,000. I think the 12,000 K is the purple. It turns purple instead. So 6,000 K is white, pure white, plain white. And 8,000 is with a little bit of blue in it. Um. Oh, it might be 9,000 K mosquito. Sorry. But anyway, that's how you do it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it helps you. Whoever is out there trying to install HIDs. This is a 2009. Like I said, it did not require a harness. But the guy did tell me that it may need a harness. Because the newer models, apparently, you need a harness with it. But I went ahead and bought it without a harness. And if I did need it, I would go back and get it. So in your case, if it flickers, because that would basically what will happen is it'll be flickering. You need a hot harness. You need to go back, you know, you can buy that online. Or if they sell it at wherever you got your HIDs, you can buy it from them. Okay? You guys take care.